Today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. So the story here is that I lost this Dutch oven and I lost it for about maybe five to eight years and I found it uh, on a pile of dirt underneath a shelf and it was just sitting there rusting away. Now I've washed off the dirt and that's why it's wet and so now I'm going to show you how to restore this and what I did to, to get this taken care of. So the first thing I'm going to do is get a putty knife and just try and get some of the bulk of this rust off. Uh, this is going to take some power tools. There's no way that this can be fixed with steel wool or anything like that. I'm, I'm going to have to really get after it. Now the first thing I tried was taking some 50 grit sandpaper to my orbital sander and see if that would work. So let's give that a try. Well, after about 10 minutes of sanding, there isn't too much progress, so it's time to go to the next step. So I decided to get out my belt sander and really get after this. And this finally worked, and so now I'm really starting to get off that rust. I'm going to take my blow gun and get some of this rust off of here and take a look. Now as you can see there are still some deep pits and for this type of damage I'm just not going to be able to do it unless I get out my disc grinder so I'm going to stop here. So I don't have any footage of the seasoning process but Basically, it's a matter of putting oil on, wiping it off, and then putting it in the oven for a few hours. And I did that two or three times. So, as you can see, the outside and the inside look pretty good, but let's check out the bottom and see how that turned out. Now, as I mentioned before, there's some deep pits, and I couldn't really get in there with a sander but they've turned out pretty well and since this is on the outside and not touching the food I'm okay with a few deep pits on the bottom where it doesn't really matter as much so I hope you found this helpful and I sure appreciate a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel